How long have you been uh, into uh, radical life extension yourself, as we would call it? Well, I joined Harvard in uh, 2013. And the reason I joined was for uh, anti-aging. And that's the reason why, that was the fundamental reason why I joined, is because I thought this was um, a very central theme to a lot of these uh, pathologies that a lot of people get when they get older. So I thought if we can solve aging, we can solve a lot of these other uh, disorders or, or disease progressions uh, when someone gets older, such as cancer, Alzheimer's, um, and all these other cognitive and physical declines as we age. So if we can reverse aging and live longer in a more healthier state, then I think we can push back uh, the time that a lot of these uh, pathologies uh, take hold. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love that. Can you give us a brief idea of the exciting new information that you'll be bringing to RadFest 2017? Uh, yes, uh, here at Harvard, we've been working on a lot of uh, screens. Uh, these are, are quite unique screens because a, a lot of cases when people think about anti-aging research, they think model organisms where you study um, a mouse or you study a worm or you study fruit flies and see uh, what mutations you can introduce to extend their lifespan. Uh, we've taken uh, a different approach here where we're starting off with uh, human cells. So we have human cells here that are that are taken from the same patients 20 years apart. And so we have a sample of, of a, the old person as well as a sample from them when they are 20 years younger. Yeah, wow. And so what we're doing is now we're working in a human system as instead of using an animal system, and we're using entire library screens where we can test all sorts of factors that we can introduce into the old cell to try to uh, re reset its programming so that it has um, a younger phenotype, so that it looks younger. So un looking at a number of metrics that we can actually reverse some of those aging signatures. Uh -huh. So this is all part of the CRISPR program then, is that correct? CRISPR is one of the tools that we use, but it's not the only tool that we use. So uh, we leverage a lot of the latest technology here, uh, CRISPR being one of them, but it's just uh, one of many uh, tools that we're using here. Yeah. So you're actually working uh, alongside George Church in the George Church lab? That's right. That's right. So I'm in the laboratory of George Church uh, here at Harvard Medical School. Uh, we're doing a lot of exciting research in age reversal. It's, it's very exciting. It's a very exciting time. Yeah. Uh, just with a lot of the resources that we have, as well as the, the new approaches that we're really taking into tackling anti-aging. Yeah, we're, it is exciting. We're hearing a lot of the news that's coming out, you know, from your work there at Harvard, and also through around the world now. There's a lot of exciting things happening. So what is the single most important reason for you personally that you're interested in ending aging and death? If we start off with an old organism, uh, or even like an old, old mouse or old human, and see what can we do? to uh, change, reverse some of those aging phenotypes, those aging signatures to a more youthful one? And how can we measure uh, um, unbiasedly that we've actually made someone biologically younger as opposed to you know, just taking uh, testimonials about how they feel sort of thing? So we're really looking into how can we take, say, a blood sample from them and analyze it uh, so that we can get a read out of their biological age. Or what, why would you think anybody else should come to RadFest? What's your, you know, what would you say to them? Well, I, I think uh, times have really changed. I think I, I, I really feel like if you were to talk about anti-aging like 10 years ago, um, I think at that time the science really didn't back it up, and there wasn't a lot of belief in the scientific community as well as um, in the general public. Uh, there wasn't a real push for it. But now you're seeing all these companies, you see Google coming up with a company and a lot of these other uh, groups emerging um, in the biotech field into the aging market. You have a lot of these breakthroughs coming out in the last uh, five to seven years that are really change, uh, changing people's thoughts about aging. Uh, originally, uh, people thought uh, life extension would mean you're living an extra 20, 30 years. And the whole idea of life extension would be living healthier, uh, a healthier life, uh, and extending that period of time uh, as much as possible. So I think 
uh, that mindset and the technology, how it's advanced so much in the last uh, five to seven years is what really switched things on. And I think uh, RadFest has come on like, pretty much at a perfect time, again, combined with the breakthroughs that we've been seeing, uh, these incremental breakthroughs, I, I think we're on the verge of something very interesting. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, you, yeah, it's, it's in the air for sure. So, uh, so you're quite a progressive scientist yourself. And I think you're, well, you're a member of a great team there at Harvard. Uh, how much emphasis do you put in the power of people working together? you think that's important for the same purpose? Oh, absolutely. It, it's all about working in teams. Uh, we're actually very open in some of the things that we work on. Uh, just to let other people know um, what direction we're taking, uh, if they're interested in collaboration, because we think uh, if, uh, if we can help uh, you know, uh, share ideas, and uh, make pro uh, progress in this field, I think everyone benefits. I, I don't think anyone benefits just by uh, hiding their research and not sharing uh, with other groups or sharing with the world. Yeah, yeah, thank you for saying that because that's what RadFest is all about, as you know. So, yeah, we, we've seen the power of that and change and people working together. So, well, thank you so much. Is there anything that uh, I haven't asked you that you'd like to add to this uh, interview before we conclude? Um, I'm, I'm very excited to, uh, to attend RadFest. So, uh, th thank you for inviting me. Uh, again, we're doing some interesting work here at Harvard on anti-aging front. Uh, we, we hope we'll have some real uh, clinical benefit uh, for, for a human uh, life extension or health extension. And I uh, look forward to seeing everyone there. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, we're all very excited to uh, meet you and to personally and to hear you at RadFest. So thank you. And thank you very much for doing this interview. Anytime. Yeah, beautiful. Good job. <laughs>